everyone, it's Alex from Alex's Creative Corner here. This is part number two of Kibley's tutorial. Um, in the first part, you should have just made the head and part of the uh, um, sail that goes on the back. And I apologize for all of this. It looks a little bit dirty and rough because it is. I've had it on for like two months or something, the paper. But it just is a better background for me at least. In this part in this video, we're going to be making the legs. So, you need a rectangular configura configuration loom. We're going to start out with the front legs. So, I've already made two before, as you know if you have done my tutorials already. So, I've done the left front leg and back leg. Um so now I'm going to show you how to do the other one, and then you'll have to go back and make the symmetrical ones. So we're starting out gold bands. So two at a time gold bands go down in the middle three times. I need to get my, sorry, get my gold right there. Now I'm taking a gold and a um, pastel yellow. You can use another yellow if you want, but this is the one that I chose to use. And then we're going down two times with three bands at a time. Two golds and a pastel yellow. And now with double looped um, holding bands across those three and across these three. Sorry if I'm going slow today. Haven't done rainbow in a few days. Even though part one is already out. I did a, like a break between filming. Now we're going to make a front. Now we're going to make a foot. And you need to make four of these, like for four feet. The back leg, the back leg feet are the same. We just change it up at the end of this video or something. Okay, black um, cap band of four loops. Dip a loop of black. Slide on that cap band. Reclaim. Get a double looped gold. Slide on that claw. And that is one toe. We need to make three more so that we have four toes. So here's the second. I might not have any more, um, I might not have any tutorials in the next month or so because, um, I'm starting commissions on Instagram for making people dragons and stuff, and that's going to take up some time, so my next tutorial won't be for a little while. I apologize for, um, being a little bit inconsistent with my posting, but... I hope it'll all work out in the end. My next tutorial is either going to be, I'm, I haven't chosen which one of them yet, okay. It's going to either be a mud wing, ice wing, or sky wing, but I haven't chosen yet. So you should have all four toes, and now with a gold band, double loop it, and pull all the toes onto that double looped. And now, with, so leaving one one end on your finger and one on there, 
getting two bands wrapped around your hook three times so that there's a clump in the middle and then you can reclaim those loops that were on your finger. And now we're going to double loop a gold. Slide on this stuff in order so the double loop, the clump, and then the double loops. Reclaim this double loop band onto there. And now we're going to do three gold bands. And then two golds and a pastel yellow. Wait, no, don't put those on yet. Now we need to make an, uh, another toe. So a black cat band, double loop of black, um, and then double loop of gold. It's the same as your other toes. And now we're going to take the pastel yellow and two golds and slide this all on and reclaim. So here's one foot. Now if your foot if your leg is like this and you don't have any of these cat bands on it yet, then you're gonna attach with the with this little the thumb facing down but if you attached your well on your next leg you need to attach the cap bands that we're about to do instead of looming them on you're gonna have to slide them on before you do the holding bands you need to slide on cap bands of yellow on here and then you'll need to put your thumb facing upwards Sorry if that's confusing, but you can go to Cricut's tutorial. Cricut's tutorial will probably have, it'll probably show that. So, uh, four loops of a cap band of yellow. So we're going down here, putting up the top three, sliding this cap band on, and reclaiming. Doing another cap band. Loom up. Slide on, loom over, and we can loom up these top two, that the ones with the pastel yellow, that go over here, and then we can get a, another yellow cap band. The next two that come up are these two golds, and you're going to slide on that cap band, and another cap band. I'm just gonna make two on, on my hook. So loom up here, slide on a cap band, loom over, and then loom up here, slide on your second cap band. And now we can loom up all the way in the middle. And with Wait a second, I'm just getting my tying bands. So, three random colored bands. It doesn't matter because we're taking them off in the end when we attach this to the body. So gently take this off the loom. It is better if you just take it off like this instead of ripping it off experience. So now you just can adjust these little um, cat band dot things that are on there. And so I have two front legs now and they're symmetrical but this one has like bent claws so I'm going to bend the claws in here. So it's like this. I'm going to go through the black double loops and all four of these claws. And I'm gonna like tug it up. And then slide my hook out. Ooh, I pulled on the band.
Okay, so here's a front leg. Go ahead and make another one symmetrically. So make sure that it's symmetrical. Now we're gonna make the back leg. I've made one back one back leg already. So with gold, go down once here, twice on this side, and then and then on the on this side we're going with a gold and a pastel yellow. Stopping there, and with a gold and a pastel yellow, we're going diagonally there, and then two golds going diagonally there, going down with two golds there, and then a gold and a pastel yellow there, and then going diagonally inwards with a gold and a pastel yellow, and two golds. Now we're going to take our Gold. Oh, did you not see that? Sorry. Um, so right here is gold and pastel yellow, gold and pastel yellow, and then gold and pastel yellow, golds, gold and pastel yellow, gold and pastel yellow, golds. Sorry if that was annoying. Sometimes I tend to get out of the frame. It's a little bit hard. Yeah, I'm just doing double looped bands across those three, those three, and those three. Now with we're going to take a pastel yellow and two golds right there. Now you need to go back and make a um, another foot because you need another foot for this leg. So make a foot just like the last one. The only difference that we're going to make, so it has this thumb sticking out. What you want to do is slide it so you slide it through these two bands or so it's on the side there's these two bands under it they're gold slide it no there's three bands um slide it through them so it's now it's um just sticking out the middle and that's the back of it so you want to attach your foot on you want to attach your foot on so that it's like this, and then this thumb is facing out the back like that. And then you can, when you do this, you can, you can, okay, so when you, when you go back and make your second leg, it's, and you have your foot on here, this thumb coming from the back is going to be facing this way too. So you want it facing that way both times. Sorry if you didn't understand that. It was a little bit hard to explain. So now we're going to slide on the yellow cap bands. I'm just putting this back on because it's coming off. Okay. Move the top two diagonals. Slide on the yellow cap band. Another yellow cap band. Slide it on. Now we're just going to loom up these two without attaching a cap band. We're going to loom up these diagonals like that to the middle. And then these diagonals. Oh, I made a bit of a mistake. These two there, and these go there. Now we're just going to be attaching the yellow cap bands, just opaque yellow. And we'll move that. Now we're just going to get three three tying bands to tie this off.
I was just adjusting these um, spot capping things. Now we can adjust the toes. So I'm just going to go through the black double loop bands and, and tug the, them like this. I hope I don't break any. This is just to bend them and make it look better. And then you can pull this up a little bit. So go back and make a symmetrical one. So now you have, so now I have um, two symmetrical back legs. So now you should have, once you go back and make the symmetrical ones, you should have two back legs, two front legs, and your head and sail thing. Now we're going to make the wings. I've only made one wing so far. We're going to make, I'm going to make the others with you. So, we just need, we need um, two looms for the wings. It's possible to make it on one loom, but it's just easier to make it on two. So on your hook, we only need to make three of these. So a yellow um, opaque cap band. We're just going to make three. So now we're going to get two gold on here, slide on one cap band, and we're going to put it on these pegs. Two golds. Slide on the cap band. Attach it on that peg. And then two more golds and on the last one. Now we're just going to go down with two golds at a time all the way down. Sorry, it's taken me a long time to get the bands for some reason. I don't know why. Now we're going, I'm going to be using jelly yellow. So two at a time. Oh, we're going all the way down this row. Two jelly yellows at a time. You can use whatever yellow you want. You don't even have to be making Kibli. This doesn't look much like Kibli, so it's kind of just a sand wing tutorial, but I'm trying to make Kibli, but the colors are a little bit off. That's the only thing really not, that's pretty wrong. Now we're going to go down twice. So once, twice, and then two bands going diagonally downwards, and then continue down this row. We're going almost to the end, but not quite to the end. And stop right there. This row, we're going to do those two, and then you can do that diagonal. We're going to go this way, almost all the way down.
And now we're just going to go this way. It's still all two jelly yellows at a time. Here, now we're going to go diagonally up there. 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 And then we're going to do two that goes directly up like that. Now, let me see what I did. I'm just going, these are for the um, holding bands. So with two jelly yellows at a time, I'm going across these three. These three, these three, these three, these three, these three. Just follow how I'm going. And now, oh, here's the end. Um, double loop a jelly yellow. Sorry, it takes me a second. And put it across. Sorry, let me get it up. Yeah, I double looped across those two. And then I double looped across these two. And then with two, we're going across three again. Now, we're going to start doing spikes and things. So, with our black, we're going to create a cat band, double loop of black, slide it on, double loop another black, slide this on, reclaim. And now we're going to take three gold bands. And we're going to slide this on, claim. We're going to put this on here. And if it's curved, make sure that it's just curving upwards. Um, now we are going to loom this, these two yellows like that. And now we're going to loom down five times. So one, two, three, four, five. So now, so you loomed up to this peg, go to this next peg, lift up these two um, horizontal or er, holding bands and stretch them onto that peg. It's only going to be there temporarily. Now we're going to make a, a big claw. So a black cat band, double loop, a black band, double loop another black band. Um, now we're going to take three black bands, um, and then we're going to take um, three gold bands. Slide that on. And then go into the peg that you loomed up to, loom up those two, lift up all four loops, slide this on, replace it onto that peg, lift up the top two gold bands, slide on the holding band, and reclaim. We're going to loom up three times, so one, two, three. Now we're going to make some, uh, what do you call them? Cat bands. So... A yellow cat band, dig down, loom up, slide on, loom over, another one, one, two, three, four, loop up, slide on, loom over, and then another cat band, four loops on your hook. 
Move them up. Slide on. Loom over. So we loomed up the first row. Now we're going to go in here. Loom up these diagonals. Back over there. And then dig down here. And we're just going to loom up the whole second row. Now we're going to loom up these diagonals and then we're going to go in here. and be looming and then loom there loom up the next two diagonals don't loom the bottom row yet because we're attaching more claws onto there And this one, stop right there. Don't loom that extra one. Now I'm going to show you how to make a claw. So a black band, wrap it around your hook four times. Double loop a black band. Take three, three gold bands. Slide on that black. And that's one. You need to make three more so that you have four. So you're, you loomed up to this peg. Go to the next peg, lift up these two holding bands, put them on that peg temporarily. So go in here, loom up, lift up the four loops, slide on that spike, replace the four loops onto that peg, lift up the top, lift up the top two bands, and then get this um, holding band from this peg and put it back here, and replace these two. Um, the run hook. Loom up once, and so I have made the three more, and we're going to do the same thing here. So you're, you loomed up this peg, this peg, the next peg, lift up the holding bands, put them there. Go into here, loom up these two, loom them over, um, lift up all four, slide on, ooh, a loop came off. Lift up all four, slide on a spike, and replace that on there. Lift up the top two, and slide on the holding band. And reclaim that. Loom up once. And then now we have to lift up this holding band from the next peg, and put it on this peg temporarily. Loom up. Lift up all four, slide on this um, claw, lift up the top two, replace the holding bands, and loom over those two loops. Loom up these two, and then go back on this row and loom up these two to there, loom up these two to there, and loom up these two, and then Loom up these two. Now you have this last spike on your hook. Lift up these last four loops that are were on that peg. Slide it on and reclaim the four loops. That one was a bit easier than the others, in my opinion, at least. Um, now you need three tying bands. So tie up this. The wing is not done. It's going to look a lot weirder than it's supposed to. It's supposed to look like this, but it's not done. We still have one tiny little section to add and the wing veins. So gently take this off of your loom from the top.
you can adjust these, um, the, uh, oh, sorry, my dog is barking in the background. Um, so here's, you can, oh, so this claw might be sliding off. Just make sure that it doesn't. You might have to pull on this tying band and then grab the yellow and pull it through. Now, the next little part is really small. So you need to make a yellow cat band of four loops. You need to make two of them. So one, two, three, four. And then with two yellows, slide on a cat band, put it on this peg, and then two gold. I don't know if I said two yellows, but I meant two gold. Um, and then two gold, slide on the cat band, and put it on these two. Now with the jelly yellow bands, we're going to go to there, to there, and then we're going to go to here, and then we're going to go to diagonal there, and then two more that go there. And then two yellow going across there. And we're going to get our wing, go through the gold set, take off the tying band. Sorry, this is taking a little while. Um, take that off. Oh, I broke it. Um, it's fine. Put it on this. Put it on to this peg, and then the middle set of yellows onto this peg, and then this is the set that has like that spike on it, make sure to go through all four yellow loops, sorry if it got off camera again, I keep forgetting, so put it on there, now you want to lift up the top two bands from each set, And then the gold one too. And you're gonna take two jelly yellows and, and across those three. You're gonna reclaim and then put these two back. And then these two back. So now we can loom up the middle. You can loom up this bottom set, and then loom up the diagonal, and then loom up this. And then in the top row, we need to make two more of these yellow cap bands. So there's one, there's two. So loom up these two, loom up, slide on, loom over, loom up, slide on, loom over. Now we need three tying bands. So here's one, tap that end. Here, no, we need four actually. Here's two. Here's three. And here's number four. So now you can take off the loom. You can adjust it. Now you just need to make the wing veins. I'll show you how to make one, and then for the rest of them, you have to do it by yourself because I have to go soon um, and turn off the video. So, um, two golds. So you need to get your hook and go through the go through the space under the big claw on the top and the yellows. So do the two gold there and pull it through. Go down to the next set, put it on your hook and get um, gold, slide it through, go into the next 
to gold, pull through, go through the next set, and then two more gold. Pull through, go into these, the gold three bands there, and then with one, just one gold, pull it through all of those golds and wrap one end around that side and then one end around this side of the spike. So it does end up having that on both sides. So that's what you want. You Now you just have to make more so that there's one going from here to there, here to there, and then on this side from the top right there to there. So that it looks like this. So go back and make another wing symmetrically. And then I'll do the rest of the wing fans off of camera. So thanks for watching. In the next part, part three, we're going to be making the body and tail. Um, so stay tuned for that. And um, thanks for watching. I hope that yours is coming out okay. Um, and... Yeah, thanks. We're like really close to 250 subscribers, so thanks. Um, we've gotten a lot really quickly since 200, um, so I'm proud of that. So by the end of this video, you should have the head and neck, two wings, two back legs, and two front legs. It'll end up looking good. Um, so thanks, thanks for watching, so you can like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, comment, I've been getting a lot of nice comments, so thanks for that, you can comment if you made it, or if you're, if you have a question, or if you're having trouble making anything, or just to say hi if you want, um, and also you can go to the link in the description to my Instagram, I post a lot on there, and I'm starting commissions next week, so I can make you a um, your original character dragon in three different sizes. Um, so yeah, if you have Instagram, the link is in the description to mine. So join me on there. And if you make my things and you do a post on them on Instagram, please tag me in it. So thanks for watching. Bye.